Why am I not getting any visitors to my site? Why is it so much more difficult than before to get visitors to my site? And kind of, is blogging actually dead? You know, these are questions that I'm getting to my email every few days. And it's with no wonder things are really shaking up in the Google sphere. Blogging is changing dramatically. Just do a search on YouTube and you will see lots of information about is blogging dead? That question about is blogging dead? And here I got to tell you that there are a couple of answers to this. Blogging as you know it is dying. It is not completely dead. Okay. And one of the causes of this is goddamn AI. Unfortunately, AI is a blessing and a curse. So as bloggers, we've got to be super, super smart about what it is that we're actually doing. And here is the thing that I just wanted to say to you. None of this is new. This is old school marketing. Okay. This is old school digital marketing that you're going to learn here today. Things that have been working religiously for 10, 15, 20 years. Okay. Maybe not 20 years. Let's say 15 years. This, this has been working online for 15 years and people just seem to forget about it. And that is the thing. The people who don't forget about it succeed. The people who forget about it or don't know about it, they don't. Okay. So you got to be super smart. We're going to cover that. And in this video, it's actually called the CG7 process or the content generation seven process. This is something myself and Mark Anastasi worked on back in the laptop millionaire days for building his website traffic to over a million visitors per year. This is some seriously cool stuff and it is updated for today. Okay. It's updated for right now in this time that we have utilizing artificial intelligence. So I'm super, super happy that I have you here today. And I'm, I'm really, really hoping that by the end of this, you understand exactly what it is that you need to do to start getting visitors, start getting more visitors to your website, to your blog. So you can actually start building your email lists and making sales and really just kind of embracing what we have today. So look, guys, my name is Kieran Doyle. And if you're new here, I hope that this video earns your subscription. I hope that this video earns your subscription. Um, if you're returning, guys, thanks so much for being here. I'm delighted to have you back with me. So look, anyway, let's get into this one. Okay, so the first part of the CG7 or the content generation seven process is all about the video. OK, so this is a really great place to start when it comes to segmentation for all of your content. And the reason that it starts with a video is because the video can be broken down into so many different things. Off the top of your head, you can make it into a short, you can make it into audio, you can make it into blog posts, you can make it into questions, you can make it into social media, you can make it into so many different things because the video basically gives you that whole base structure for everything else that you can take from. OK, so the first one is we got to look at creating the video. OK, and that's as simple as coming to something like Gemini and putting in a prompt and asking Gemini to come up with a script for you based on what your topic is. So we're over here at Gemini and all we're going to do is put in a prompt like this. OK, so it's as simple as this. Can you create a YouTube video script on the topic of and then you can put in your topic online business creation for beginners, making sure you target my target audience of people over. And then you put in your age, 35 years of age, and you could put in between ages, you could say 35 to 60, you could say 20 to 25, whatever was that. And then who want to and what is their main goal with what they're actually looking to do? And you're just going to say who want to quit their job. OK, and then you're just going to press enter. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you a base script. So as you can see here, intro, upbeat music gives goes through all of the different things here, tells you how long the things are actually going to be also in there. Now, when you take a script like this, one of the things that you want to do is you want to make sure that you go through it and actually edit it first, okay? Because when you're actually communicating with the camera like this, you want to make it free flowing. You don't want to stop so much and be like, uh, 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 uh. You want to basically take what is here and use that as your guideline for when you're creating your video. But also just a note here. Remember, you don't have to be on camera like this. You could actually be talking on a presentation. 
Okay, now that's a really good way of getting content created when you're a little bit unsure about getting in front of the camera. So that's phase one, is actually getting your script created and then creating a video from that. And as I said, you can create it utilizing a camera like this, or you can create it utilizing a screen capture uh, thing like Loom or with Camtasia, or what I use is video. What do I use? I use uh, video, Wave Video, which is pretty cool. You can pick it up on App Sumo. Uh, okay, so that's the first thing, all right? So once you have your video created, okay, so that's stage one. The next thing, just think about it, stage two. You've already got the video created, so you need to actually think, okay, I'm, I need to I need to do something with this video. I need to segment it down, okay? So you're going to segment it down, and you're just going to basically take a little bit of information from the video and create a short video. It's as simple as it is. You can use a free tool like CapCut to actually do this. Actually, all of these short videos were created in CapCut and they can get you hundreds or thousands of views. Okay, so what you're doing here is everything is all going back to your blog. Okay, so everything is created and driving traffic back to your blog, getting you attention, getting you notice. And this is making blogging so much more lucrative for you. It's not as simple as just creating that one piece of blog content anymore, that video will eventually get turned into a blog post. But before we even turn it into a, a blog post, we're going to turn our video into audio and we can then put it up onto an audio hosting site. We could even put it onto SoundCloud if we wanted. And then we can get people to actually listen to our content and have links back to our blog posts associated with it. Super, super simple to do as well. So you just come over to something like SoundCloud. You'd sign up for a free account that's here, okay? And you can sign up with your Google. And then what you do is you just upload your audio there and you can use a, a, der a derivation or, a, or an edit of what your description is for your YouTube video there. And then people can find it. Again, you would have a link back to your blog post. So people are collecting or you are collecting their email addresses when they come to your blog post, okay? So that is the next step of the CG7. Now, after you've done that, after you've got your audio, all those kind of things, what you wanna be doing basically, you wanna come back over to your videos. Okay, and let's say we're looking at, it doesn't matter which video I choose here. But one of the things that you'll notice here, which is absolutely awesome, and we'll that, okay, if we come here, uh, or come here, excuse me, we just scroll down to the bottom, you're gonna see this section here that says transcript, okay? This transcript basically is what is what your whole video is saying. So what what you are actually saying in your video. So all you do is you grab this transcript, copy and paste it, come back over to Gemini and say. All you say is, hey, can you turn this into a cool blog post for my website? It is based on the transcription from my video. You paste your transcription in and then you press enter. Okay, and as you can see here, it's gone through. It's starting to go through the whole article. Now you can grab all of this. It's turned it into a lovely little article. One of the things that you will notice, sometimes it's gonna give you a long or a short, whatever. You can come to here and you can actually say longer or shorter or simpler or more casual or more professional. So let's say we wanted it longer, we could get it to do longer, okay? And then you're gonna upload that onto your blog and that's where you're gonna link to, all right? That's where you're gonna link to from your video, from your audio and from your shorts as well, okay? You wanna have links back to this blog post that you actually create. Now the next thing that you wanna do is, why, why stop there? Why, like really, why stop there? Why not ask it? Okay, so this is brilliant. Why not ask it to create social media posts for you as well? And you create three Facebook posts for this article, making sure to include a strong opening hook and a CTA at the end, okay? And you can just put CTA at the end. Now an opening hook is something that grabs and grabs a person's attention and wants to makes them want to continue reading. A CTA is a call to action, which makes a person actually do what you tell them. So with that CTA, you're gonna have your link back to your blog post to continue reading the full blog post on your blog. And again, you're gonna wanna look to gather people's email addresses back on your blog as well. Okay, Facebook post one, Facebook post two, Facebook post three. Okay, so these are brilliant. Okay, so these are cool little things. Let's see our headline, feeling ignored by your email list. It's time to build KLT and watch your sales soar. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's see, click here to discover the secret to email marketing success. That's our call to action, okay? So as you can see, super, super simple. This is all done in a couple of moments. 
Now, the next thing that we want to do is if you have an email list where you need to be building one, that's why I'm always talking about the email list. You want to basically talk about or you want to create emails from this as well. So let's say that you want to create two or three emails from this. Again, we're just going to ask Gemini to do this. And we're just going to say, can, can you create three emails for this blog post enticing, enticing people to come and read the article I created? Okay, and what you're going to do over the week, you're going to release one on, let's say, Monday, you're going to release one on Wednesday, and you're going to release one on Friday. Okay, and basically, it's just going to have a link within there that's going to drive people back to your blog post article. OK, to read whatever it is you're doing. OK, super, super important. And because they're already on your email list, that's cool. OK, so potentially there's a product that you're selling within this video or within this content that you actually want to direct them to. All right. But here you go. Some really, really cool emails. Email one, email one, email two. And here's email three. OK, you got your subject lines, you got your intros. You got your exits, all of those kind of things. All right. So that is absolutely awesome in terms of emails. So now we've got six of the CG7. Final one. Now, this is really, really important. OK, this is Quora. OK, so what we want to do is we want to drive people from Quora back to our blog post. OK, so we're just going to ask Gemini for a question and an answer related to what it is that we're doing here okay now you can ask for multiple things okay so let's look at this prompt so can you create three quora questions and answers for this blog post that would give people a great answer and also entice them entice them to read more on my blog okay and so what it's going to do is it's going to do that and when you create this and when you put it up onto quora you want to put the question up first okay Okay, I'm struggling at, so here, here's a great one. I'm struggling at getting engaging on my email list. What are some tips for building trust and KLT oh, with my subscribers? Put that up as a question onto Quora, okay? Wait a few days, okay? And then basically see what other people are actually saying on there. Next of all, you add your answer, okay? So answer, here's what I've found works for me, okay? And then you've got your answer in here. And underneath the answer, you've got a link back to your blog post for further reading. OK, and this is where you get around all of the Quora issues with kind of putting affiliate links and all of that. OK, you're sending them from Quora to a more detailed answer on your blog. You're collecting their email addresses. OK, so. Guys, this has been part of the CG7 process. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. I really hope you get stuck into it. Building an online business is super exciting. And unfortunately, at the moment, Google and blogging are a little bit of a nightmare, okay? But there are fantastic ways around it, okay? CG7 is just one of them. Make sure you implement it, guys. Anyway, my name has been Kieran Doyle. If you've enjoyed this and you're new here, I hope that I earned your subscription. If you're returning, thanks so much for being here. Guys, give us a, a like and a comment down below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Also, I have a blog training program called the Blog Profit Path, which I will leave a link to down below. Keep it easy, my friends. Thank you very much.